All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Marcus and Courtney. Um, we have some exciting news, and we are getting a new puppy. <laughs> Courtney's excited. I'm excited. And, you know, we just excited. Why are we getting a new dog? Hey, man, and, and where are we getting this dog from? What kind of dog? I know you got so many questions, man. Let's go ahead and get into the video and get it started. So first of all, why am I deciding to get a dog? As you guys know, we've had two miniature schnauzers. Unfortunately, one of the dogs kind of passed, passed away, not kind of passed, but passed away due to a kidney stone. And we were able to give the other dog to a beautiful family. And so we decided to take a break from dogs for a little bit and wait till our life kind of settled down just a little bit. So that way we can introduce a new puppy into our life but instead of doing two dogs this go around we wanted to do one and we wanted to experiment with a different dog breed that wasn't too much aggressive but more of a family dog maybe a relaxed chill dog but still has some hyper and energetic you know energy about it so I don't know how I came across this dog but um, I, I guess I started looking at this dog on Instagram and it was the golden doodle and I started seeing this dog and I was just like, oh man, it's like a real fluffy, you know, fun loving dog. And just thought it would be cool to have that type of dog in our home. And so I started doing more research. I wait for the truck to pass. I started doing more research on the dog and then come to find out the golden doodle dog is what I really wanted, you know? And so I brought it to Courtney, told Courtney about the golden doodle. And it's pretty much like a, a golden retriever mixed with a poodle or right or whatnot and it doesn't shed as much and you know I do have allergies I do also have asthma so with the dog being pretty much low to non shedding you know that would kind of help out with you know my asthma and my allergies or whatnot that's another reason why I decided to bring this up to Courtney is because you know I also deal with depression off and on and it's just always good to kind of have a, a dog or you know a puppy um, to kind of help me get through some of those difficult times, you know, and, you know, just having that discipline to be able to take care of something other than myself or my wife, but just having something else around the house that can, you know, help me with a little bit of my discipline, just having a little extra responsibility around the house to kind of keep me moving, keep me going and, you know, just on the move. Also, the the the, the Golden Doodle requires like, um, requires like 90 minutes of, not like, 60 to 90 minutes of exercise so that will kind of get me out uh, making sure that I walk the dog and get the proper training and exercise that it needs so all in all this it's, it's really to help me you know with my lifestyle and trying to get me back into a, a rhythm a motion you know keeping my body in, in movement and so that was the whole purpose of me getting another dog um, and it's not really a, a golden doodle, but it's really an Irish doodle that we decide to settle on. And so I started looking online and I started looking at all these different, you know, breeders in the area, breeders in different states. And I came across this one website out of many that I've seen and I just pulled the trigger. And the website is called Morning Glory Doodles. And they're located right outside of Chattanooga. And I believe the lady's name is Whitney. She has her and her family. They breed Irish doodles, golden doodles, and I think some other ones. And so I saw her Instagram. I saw her website. I saw her Facebook, did some digging, and saw the puppies and saw the videos, saw how she how she handled the puppies and how she, and, and, you know, how she treated her dogs and watching the reviews and her sharing like, you know her clients experiences you know it kind of drew me in and i read through the whole website as far as the deposit as far as how much the dog costs how to take care of the dogs i started doing even more deeper research on you know um the irish doodle's temperament and you know what symptoms to look out for diseases to look out for whatnot and so i really made the decision to pull the plug and so i presented this to courtney man i told courtney like hey this is what I want to do, you know, this is what I want. And so I had some money saved up and we pulled the trigger and we contacted um, Morning Glory Doodles and, you know, we got everything taken care of. She's kept us informed through the whole process. Um, she sent out emails, 
Um, she posts on her Instagram, keeping you informed on what the pups are doing and how they're taking care of the pups. And if you got any questions, you can reach out to her. But really, um, a lot of her, a lot of the answers to her to the questions you may may have is on the website. It's also um, you can find stuff on her website, her frequently asked questions page. When she sends out the email, she sends you a list of everything you need and what you need to do before you arrive. She sends you reminders and everything. And she just posts on her Instagram and her stories, just kind of keeping you informed on when they're born, how they're treating them. And she posts every now and then to kind of keep you abreast on it. So the process has been real smooth. Um, and you know, I really didn't have a lot of questions, man. It was just real straightforward. And she provided a lot of information through her website, through her through her Facebook, through her Instagram, and through her emails that she sent out. So the puppy will be eight weeks once we pick it up. And then when we come back, um, we'll have to get it shots, kind of get a tag for it, and you know, maybe get some insurance for the dog, and then most importantly, start training. That's something that I want to do differently with this puppy that I didn't do with the other two dogs I had is I really want to put them in training and really see how um, it differs with us not having a dog in training versus having this dog, just one dog in training. And so we're excited, man. We got the cages, we got some got some play pens, we got the food ready, we got everything ready for the puppy's arrival. So it's an Irish doodle, which means it's like it's an Irish settler mixed with a doodle, a poodle, a doodle or a poodle, it's an F1B. Man, I'm just excited about that, man. And Courtney's pretty excited. So you'll get to kind of see her responses, you know, coming up. You know, you're going to get to see what, what she thinks and, you know, how she feels about, you know, having a, a Irish doodle come into the home. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and get prepared. Let's go to Courtney and see what she got to say about it. <laughs> well, today is the day that we get our new puppy. And I'm pretty excited. At first... You know, since we had our last our puppies, we had two of them. I didn't know if we would get any more anytime soon, but you know, things change, life changes. You know, we start to want different things over the course of time. So Marcus and I were talking, we reassessed some things and felt that we were more ready now than we were before. And this time we're not overwhelming ourselves by getting multiple puppies. We're just gonna get one. You know, one one is more than enough. It's a calm breed, unlike our miniature schnauzers that we had before. They were just extra. Cool dogs, but a bit extra. So I feel more prepared for this puppy and been doing more research. I feel like I'm more engaged. Just been more attentive to how we can pay more attention to the dog. As far as potty training, getting it, even taking it to get it trained, command training. I just felt like we rushed the last experience. This time we talked about it. We kind of figured out what kind of dog we wanted. And we want a dog that's just more chill and calm and not as aggressive. And honestly, I didn't think the miniature snouts would be that aggressive, but those dogs are all from the giant, all some kind of giant. But hopefully we can train and groom this dog initially to where we can, the temperament and everything will be calm and relaxed and what we expect. And we plan on taking it also with us, whether it's to work, so it won't be at home by himself so often because we still don't know if we're gonna get a boy or a girl. Marcus probably wants a boy, you know, just not to deal with all the girl dog issues. We know what those are. But I don't know. I think I'm more open to either one because we had the two boy miniature schnauzers early on when we got married. We had a um, rescue dog that we found. Her name was Madison. That was a girl. But I don't know. I'm open. We'll see. Y'all will see what gender we will get but either way the name will be puffy so puffy girl puffy or boy puffy is gonna work regardless puffy p is the nickname for it i hope it's a bond like a simple bond so we'll easily know like which dog is for us you know how they say certain dogs um they'll go to you if they're drawn to you so I'm interested to see if we'll have that experience instead of just going to be like, I want this one. 
Uh, can you give me that one over there? Because we do know that we want like a reddish. Um, they call them mahogany. A mahogany colored one. So I'm interested to see if a dog does come to us. If it's going to be the color that we want it to be. Uh, so we are, we're almost kind of going in a bit biased. Because we want a certain color. But we also want a connection with the dog too. So yeah. I guess we'll just have to see about that. But yeah, that's just my two cents on that. And we'll be back. Got here a little early, about an hour early. We on Eastern Standard Time now. We just came from Central Standard Time, and I guess I put it in there a little wrong, so I got here early, at least an hour early. So at least I'm early than late. So um, yeah, man, this is where we at right now. Yeah. So we're just gonna go on in and just hang out until it's our turn. So we're just out here waiting in the truck until it's our turn, seeing that we got here an hour early. Yeah, it's real quiet out here, real peaceful, man. Can't wait to get our own piece of land um, out in the in the country, man. Mm -hmm. It's real peaceful, man. Just listen. She can't be quiet. She's disturbing the peace. <laughs> Don't want to wake up the trees and the, and the leaves and the branches. Why is it that? So why is it that when it's quiet, you be whispering? Hey, what's up with y'all? <laughs> we are. It is peaceful out here, man. It's like your mind can think and breathe. But yeah, we're waiting on. We 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 were here an hour early, so. Despite having the time set in the phone, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how we managed to get here an hour early. You, Mark? I just, I miscalculated it. <laughs> and I was, I was upset because I thought I was late. But I'd rather be early than to be late, than to be on time. Look, one thing for sure, we definitely on time today. No ifs, ands, or mm -hmm. buts about it. Okay. We are on, we are on time. time. <laughs> All right. Well, we're finna go. Well, we ain't finna go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> we're finna go back to this seat that we in. Yeah, we just gonna sit here for another 45 minutes. And we'll catch you guys when we get ready. But we are, one thing, we are seeing people kind of walking, like leaving with their puppies. Like everybody has to stay in the car until it's their appointment time. But we are seeing people who've already chosen their puppy or puppies kind of walking out of each um, shed. So yeah. Oh, and we're seeing them, they're taking like the people, they take pictures of each family with the puppy after they choose. So some people are getting their pictures taken. Morning Glory Doodles, man. They got a system, they got nice houses. Uh, for the pups and everything, man. They got people over there working and communicating. It's just a real clean system out here at Morning Glory Doodles. I'll just show you guys just, you know, the setup, you know. They got the one house here and one over there. And so, yeah, man, we out. Go ahead and tell them you got a puppy. All right. We have Puffy here. Oh, I'm sorry. I woke you up. It looked like he was going to sleep. Then I started talking and he woke up. You can tell he's a bit nervous because he's a little gassy. But he's trying to relax and be calm. So I have him swaddled in this little towel here so he could kind of feel snug and, you know, safe. So he's chill. He was moving a lot a few minutes ago, but now he seems more relaxed.
he's trying to go back to sleep. Look at him.